it's Joe. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Coming at you tonight with an unboxing video. And uh, this is a prize box from Jeff Soares. Now, uh, if you guys, guys don't know Jeff, super awesome guy. Um, a fellow Massachusetts native. So shout out to you, Jeff. He's doing a giveaway. A 666 subscriber giveaway. Um, and I was very lucky enough to win. So, uh, uh, a big shout out. Thank you so much to Jeff. I honestly, I, I don't think he said anything that was in the box. Oh, actually, I think I do remember one thing that's in the box and I am super excited about it. Now that I just remembered it, it just like popped in my head. Um, but other than that, I don't know anything else that's in this box, but, um, if you guys are not familiar with Jeff's channel, I'm sorry guys, the lighting here is like really weird tonight, but uh, so I had to turn these lights on. So if they get in the way, I apologize for that. Um, uh, as why I'm kind of off screen here, I'm trying to block them out. But uh, a big shout out to Jeff. Uh, if you are not subscribed to his channel, uh, please go and do so. Um, it will be linked down below, guys. Go show him some love, as always. All right, so let's not waste any more time. Let's get right into this box and open it up. Um, without showing my address, I really can't show... Well, I'll try to cover it up there. But Jeff was cool enough to throw in some Halloween stickers on here and stuff like that. So, good start. <laughs> but, uh, super excited to get this, you know, right before the Halloween season, obviously. Because Jeff is a big horror addict, um, like myself. So, getting something from a fellow... Massive horror fan like him, I know this is going to be a kick-ass box. But, all right, let's open this guy up, see what is in it. We'll go mystery style. As always here, but make sure there's nothing here off the top. Uh, Joe, open last. If you guys can read that. Like I said, the light is weird in here tonight. I don't know what the hell is going on with it. But, uh, hopefully it shows up okay on it. All right, first item here we have, oh sweet, it looks like we have a Gremlins NECA figure. Hell yeah. All right, sweet. I don't have any of these um, figures actually, and this one is Gary. Uh, that is a pretty cool looking uh, little Gremlin figure. I believe, yeah, NECA does make these. Those are cool, pretty cool looking figures there, and you can see... You can collect all these ones right here, but I get the white guy, that name is Gary, and featuring posable eyes, so that's pretty cool. Apparently his eyes move, like, when you open the figure, so that is pretty dang cool right there. Cool little gremlin figure. All right, next up, go here to the top here. All right, we got, uh, retractable fangs. Perfect for Halloween time, of course. Um, I might have to throw these on at, like, a horror con or something like that. Just something to do for fun. Um, but, all right, next item. Jeez, there's, like, a lot of stuff in here. I could feel the item I knew that was coming, and I'm super excited about that. I will try to hold that one off on that one for last. All right, next we have a little meat cleaver that came in, a uh, horror block a while ago. I believe I had this, but I believe I might have sent it to someone. So, very cool. Cool to get it back. I will throw that on maybe on my keys or something like Or I'll probably just add it as like display out here. But uh, all right, let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, this thing's heavy. Whatever this is, this is really heavy. Ooh, very cool. We have scary stories to tell in the dark. The complete collection. So that is super awesome. Very, very cool. Um, love. Um, the scary stories, uh, you know, uh, I'm trying to, trilogy, I guess you call it, there's three of them, um, but very, very cool, we get the complete collection here of scary stories to tell in the dark, so maybe I'll do a video telling you guys some scary stories, what do you guys think about that, would you like to hear me tell some scary stories here on the channel? Let me know in the comments down below if that would be something maybe you guys would be into. Maybe try something a little different. I mean, you know, mainly my videos like unboxings and reviews and stuff. Maybe doing something like that could be fun. Change it up a little bit. Maybe not. It could be terrible. Who the hell? Who knows? But I think it could be fun. You never know, you know. Especially after a few drinks. Like drunken scary story. Drunken scary stories. Reading them. That could make for a really fun series. Might just come up with something right there. Um... 
But okay, next. <laughs> this is fun. This is really fun. Uh, it is a brain surgeon zombie. Um, a little bendable figure there. Like I said, I hope you guys see. I hope this is all coming off well on camera. I apologize if not. Um, but very, very cool right there. That is a cool little figure. I love how his eyes like popping out right there too. He's a cool little figure. He's definitely gonna come out of the box for sure. He'll look, he'll look great displayed on my horror shelf. All right, next up here, we have, feels like a Funko Pop maybe? All right, oh cool. I was, you know, I really thought about, I was thinking about buying one of these for a while, and I'm actually really happy you sent me one because uh, I didn't end up getting one. It is the Fungal Pup Mystery. I'm assuming this is the horror ones they did. Yeah, it is. I can see in the back here. You can get Pinhead, Jason, or Beetlejuice. So I believe Jeff already opened this one, but uh, let's see which one he sent. Um, obviously, I'm hoping for honestly any of them would be awesome. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I think they're all really cool uh, little figures. So let's see which one we got. Ah, sweet. This is like one of the ones I wanted, too, the most. So I'm very excited for this one. It is Roy, even though they call him Jason Voorhees in this one, but it is Roy from um, Part 5. So that is a really cool-looking figure. Of course, it is Roy because it is the blue mask version of Jason there. But that is a really cool-looking pop there. I know Jeff made, like, a big thing about this one because, essentially, it's the exact same um, body as the Michael Myers Funko Pop, which I thought was, like, really funny. So all Funko did was just put on the new head but kept the same body there. So that is super funny, I thought. Uh, but still a cool little figure, I think. I like that they did, like, the Part 5 Jason, too. I think that was pretty cool. Um, all right, next up here, we have... Sweet, we have uh, two giant window posters, which is perfect for me because um, I'm still in the process of decorating for Halloween, but I'll find a good place for these, honestly. These will probably go on my um, front windows. I have a really cool Freddy one, so and I, it's a three window, so I'll probably put both, uh, those on the other two sides. That is really cool. Totally digging that. All right, next up here, we have... Whoa! Jeff... Jeff knows me. I will tell you that much right here. Oh, wow, Jeff. Hell yes. We have a double-pack, unopened VHS of Blair Witch Project and Curse of the Blair Witch. Two-pack, sealed. Will not be opening this. I This will be kept sealed. This is a great, great Blair Witch collector's piece. I absolutely love this. Uh, includes newly discovered footage, maybe, um, some deleted scenes in there, um, but that is great, Curse of the Blair Witch, great documentary, can't recommend it enough, if you guys can find it, and you like the Blair Witch movie, and the Blair Witch mythos, you will dig that documentary, and Blair Witch, of course, as you guys know, one of my favorite horror movies, um, and that is really cool that Jeff could find, like, the sealed double pack, never, uh, you know, seen it, like, them do it like that before, so this is really cool. Brings back a lot of nostalgia um, because, you know, first time I ever saw a Blair Witch was on VHS. So that is super, super cool. And you knew, Jeff. You knew, Jeff, I was going to love that. You know, you knew. <laughs> but uh, thanks, man. Thank you a lot. Next, we have this Penny Dreadful, Be Dreadful cell phone holder, which I actually have and I use. It actually works really well. I actually use it to record um, my videos sometimes, because if you guys didn't know, I use my phone to record. Um, so I actually use it for that occasionally, and it actually does hold the phone really well, so that is pretty cool. Um, but I'll find a good a good home for that, um, Jeff, but that is very cool. All right, so I think there's just one more item in here, and it was an item I knew that was coming, um, and that I was super excited about. Actually, there's a couple little items in here, so let's pull these out first. Sweet, we got a Jeff Soar's magnet. I like this one a lot. A very nice, um, heavy-duty magnet. Uh, good size, too. I would love to make some um, for my channel as well, like this size. I have, like, the mini buttons, but would love to make, like, magnets of this size. This is a good size magnet right here. Very cool. All right. And we have a very cool uh, little Stay Puffed uh, mystery mini. I... Um, I don't know if you guys know this. I don't really say it a lot, but I love um, minifigures. I really do because they're easy to display. They don't take up a lot of room. And, uh, you know, 
basically that's it actually yeah they they don't take up a lot of room and they're easy to display so that i mean that's why i love mini so a cool little stay puff mini there and i think that is it besides the most epic item in this box guys you guys know um you know i have this freddy krueger glove right here as you can see in the background it's a cheap one. It's not, um, you know, it's pretty low quality. Uh, I will admit it was made by Ruby's Gloves. Um, I didn't pay a lot of money for it. It's definitely like a lower quality glove. But now this glove is a high quality Freddy glove right here. This is really, really nice. Yeah, this is kick, kick ass. Now, Jeff got this. Um, I believe he wanted in... Um, the killer box, uh, he won like their, um, I think he won their like 666 box is what they called it, but uh, he won that and he loved that glove so much he decided to go and buy another glove and put it in his giveaway and look at how, oh this, look at how awesome that thing articulates, it's like really nice quality uh, style glove, the Ruby's one is like a really cheap, um, uh, like cloth quality. This one's like more of a leather glove quality on this one here. You get uh, way more nice like detail in the rivets rivets on this one than the one I have. Like this, this, this is like actual, um, you know, it looks like like pinned brass or something on that one. Whereas that one isn't. I mean, you can just tell the difference in quality. And Jeff, this will be the new Freddy glove without a doubt on display. Um... This will be the new Freddy Glove on display in the background. We'll see what happens to that one. Um, maybe that will end up with um, in a trade box or something. But this Freddy Glove is way better. Way better. I am so stoked, Jeff, that um, to get a like really nice quality Freddy Glove. Um, and I am pumped. And if you know when the next time Robert England does a con, I am probably going to end up getting this thing signed. But... That is sweet, and uh, it's just got, like, great articulation. Like, mine didn't even have, like, the finger articulation on that one. I don't... Well, not as nice, anyway. And just, like, a really nice, better, like, aging and everything, like, on the blades. And these blades are... These blades are actually, I think, sharpened. Like, these ones are pretty damn sharp as well there. So, very, very kick ass. That is sweet. Love that. Uh, thank you so much, Jeff. Uh for this amazing Freddy glove and for everything else man that was a kick ass amazing prize box right there I mean you know a freaking Freddy glove how can you go wrong how the hell can you go wrong with getting a Freddy glove and all this other awesome stuff um but yeah that is it guys let me know what your favorite item was I think most people are probably gonna lean towards the Freddy glove I would say but I gotta say my second place one is probably that Blair Witch double pack because that is freaking kick ass you know I love my Blair Witch um, but yeah, that is it guys. Once again, a huge shout out to Jeff Soares, uh, for the box. Really appreciate it, man. His channel will be linked down below guys. Go show him some love. And I apologize for the stupid lights in this video. Like I try to block them as much as I can. Um, but, uh, yeah, that is it guys. So I hope everyone has a great night and we'll see you all real soon.